Hello, everybody. How are you? Um, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's uh, an interesting day to be recording a whipping ch whipping chat. Um, and I'll just let's just start. We'll just go there. We'll start with that. Today is my mom's birthday. <laughs> yep. So um, it's a little kind of uh, a strange day, you know. It's a brand new territory to. Um, encounter my mom's birthday and she's not with us so uh it's a little odd i'm a little sad um i'm not gonna be you know sad all day long i hope i mean i got things to do so i'll get busy but you know there's definitely those moments throughout the day that are going to be like mm, you know um i've already talked to my dad and i know what he's doing he's going to try to just keep busy today that's what he's doing he's um, trying to get a lawnmower down to the little house. My grandma's little house needs mowed and they can't seem to get a lawnmower to stay running. Um, they've had two down there and he's taken his down there now, but now his like farm truck that he runs around in won't start. <laughs> Dale got it started the other day for him and he already called hoping Dale could come help him start his truck. And I'm like, um, he's at work, dad. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, you went to work today? I'm like, yeah. I thought he was taking some time off. I said, well, he did yesterday. <laughs> he took yesterday off. <laughs> I don't know. He's not retired yet. <laughs> but, you know, that's how my dad will cope with things is um, I'm doing these little bees. So I'm trying to cover up a bunch of the part I don't want to get like stuck in. There was bees at the bottom and now there's bees up here. So I'm sorry you're getting this little tiny section, but... I'm trying not to get stuck in all of the the sticky, you know what I mean? So that's why, that's how he will deal with it, is just to do things, occupy his mind, and stay busy. And that's, you know, that's a good plan in my mind, really. You know, that's what I'm going to do. My sister called, and she was wondering if we wanted to do something today. And I was like, um, like, I, you know, normally we would go to dinner and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, um, I, I don't know about all that. I, I, I don't know. That seems weird to me in a way. I mean, I get her point. I really do is just to, you know, make it easier for my dad, you know, to not be alone the whole day on her birthday. I, I don't know. It's just a weird, a weird, a whole weird thing. I don't know how to feel about it or what to do exactly. Um, apparently we'll see my dad at some point today because, you know, he needs help starting that truck again. <laughs> so we will probably go over there sometime this evening. And Dale will get the truck running for him again. I don't know what the deal is with that. I, I'm not a mechanic. I don't understand the lawnmowers, the trucks, all that stuff. I'm just like, I don't know. I get in my car. It starts. I go, that's all I know, right? <laughs> so I don't. how would you guys handle it? I mean, I know there's many of you out there that, I've been in the same situation, lost a parent or whatnot. This is the first year, so that's maybe a little different. But, I mean, what would you do? I don't know. Like I said, I think we'll just go over there later. I mean, I have my book live tonight at 6.30. We could go over there before that, though, and just get the truck started, hang out for a little bit, give him a hug, and, you know, I don't, I don't. I really don't want to like go to dinner and sit and that seems kind of morbid, not morbid, morose. Is that the right word? Sad, gloomy. I, I don't know. It, it shouldn't be like that. You know what I mean? We can all be sad in our own homes and our own time. But if I see him, I, I don't want it to be sad. I don't, you know what I mean? Go over there and be like, hey, you know? Let's get this truck running and just be more jovial. And you know what I mean? Is that wrong? I just, I don't know. Anyhow, happy birthday, mom. Um, it's, it's weird. It's weird. Um, anyhow. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> um, so, life. Life around here. Yes. Dale has taken a few days off. Um, he's kind of getting used to this whole concept of what it's going to be like to retire. 
he still likes to uh, get up and go places. <laughs> he thinks we just go places. Like yesterday, Monday, we went here and went there and got groceries and did a couple other things and went to Walmart. Oh, my goodness, right? Um, it's like, nope, you're going to have to start finding some things to do with your time. Finding some things to do with your time because, you know, yeah, that's how it works. Um, we were at Meyer, and the first thing we walk in the door, we went to, oh my gosh, mistake of all mistakes. We went to the little tiny, tiny Meyer. There's one out in Charlotte, tiny Meyer. And we didn't need a whole lot of stuff. So Dale was like, we can probably get everything we need right there, right? And I'm like, yeah, probably. We don't need a lot of stuff. Well, that was a mistake. Um, there was like two or three things right off the bat they didn't have, we couldn't get. Okay. All right. Mistake. But um, walking in the door, immediately he runs into somebody or somebody ran into him, this lady. <laughs> this lady's trying to like bump into him with her cart. And I'm like, uh, honey. <laughs> and then he turns around and he looks and of course he knows her. And it's somebody that used to work with him and has retired. And oh my goodness. The two of them, jab, 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 jabber, jabber, jabber. And I was like, holy cow. Okay, so I just kind of wandered around a little bit there. I was in like the vitamin health and beauty area. I'm wandering around. Couldn't find my one vitamin. That's one of the things. Um, but I was like, just let them chit chat for a while about work and all that stuff, you know, catch up. I'm like, okay. I come back. They're still talking. I wander around a little more. I come back. They're still talking. I was like, all right, cool, all right. So finally, finally, the last time I came back, she's like, oh, she's back. She's wondering what we're still talking about. <laughs> I'm like, oh, um, you know, I, I kind of jumped into the conversation at that point. And something, I don't know. Oh, we talked, we started talking about needing to go home because I have things to do. We can't run around all day. And she's like, oh, man, keep her away from my husband. Don't let her talk to my husband because... You know, he'll call me up and he'll be like, what are you doing? And she'll be like, oh, I'm, 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 in, I'm in Lansing or I'm here or I'm there. And he's like, what are you doing there? She goes, well, you know, she's a run around her. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I got to go home. I got things to do. I got a YouTube channel to run and I got videos to make. And she's like, what? You got a YouTube channel? And I'm like, yeah. And she goes, well, what is your YouTube channel about? And I said, diamond painting. And she goes, oh, you're kidding. And I'm like, no, you've heard of diamond painting? <laughs> She's like, yes. She says, oh, my goodness. She says, I have one right now. I'm working on it. It's giving me fits. <laughs> okay. So, you know, then the whole conversation starts about my channel, about my subscribers, about this, about that. She's getting my name. She's getting my YouTube. You know, all of this stuff. Um, I was asking her questions about trays, pens, wax. She was having trouble getting more than one drill to stay in her multi-placer. I'm like, well, what are you using? Just the pink wax? Yeah. I'm like, well, there's your first problem. <laughs> you know, just stuff like that. <laughs> so um, she's going to follow me on uh, YouTube and all that good stuff. She got um, the name of our Facebook group. She got that in her phone already. I think she already asked to join that maybe. I don't know. I don't always see the requests. Sometimes other people get them, so I don't know. So, yeah. And then she says, man, she says, you know, I work over at the senior center in another little town nearby. I work over there like three or four days a week. She works over there, I guess. And they're having a craft sale mm -hmm, in November. And she's like, yeah, it's great. I said to the seniors diamond paint. Oh, yeah. They love diamond painting. They There's a whole bunch of them that diamond paint. I said, so they would be interested in buying like would they buy diamond paintings that are completed oh yeah i said would they like like small things like keychains and notebooks and oh absolutely Should those these people they buy up all that stuff i said well what about small kits that aren't completed yet and she goes they buy those too a booth or table 20 bucks and i'm like okay i gotta i gotta get with dale because dale's the one that got her number and stuff so i'm like okay i'm I, i'm gonna do it I'm going to do it. Why not? $20 one day, sit over at the senior center <laughs> and 
and uh, see what I can sell, you know? So, I mean, I've got a couple of boxes downstairs of little small projects that are finished, small paintings, lights, you know, dangly things, all that fun stuff, keychains. Um, I have several more paintings I could frame up quickly if I wanted to. I might just take what's finished, maybe work on a few more of the special goodies, like maybe some more medallions or, you know, something real quick that I could take. I don't know. It's November, I don't know, November something. Beginning of November, anyhow. I got a couple weeks probably, right? I could gather up some more stuff. I'm like, yeah, Dale can help me, right? <laughs> He can help me. He can bring stuff over. He can help me set up the table. Right, Dale? And I'm thinking, oh, then you get to talk with her, you know, all day while we're there. <laughs> I just, they were funny. Anyhow, but I think I'm going to try it. Why not? I mean, like I said, I've got a lot of stuff downstairs that's finished. I have done a couple of craft show type things. Um, one flea market type event I went to and I've sold a few things so why not give it a shot see what happens she's yeah oh they'll be all geared up buying stuff for Christmas for presents and gifts and okay all right I'll do it I just need to get the number from Dale because he's got the phone number anyhow too bad he's working today right he's not retired <laughs> oh boy so there's that that's kind of fun um but yeah then after that okay so this is kind of what i guess retirement could be like you know he um we get back home take care of the groceries all this other stuff and it was already getting late it was actually getting like mid-afternoon at this time he went to where did he go oh he got a call from my cousin's husband who needed some help at some point in time, not immediately or anything, but at some point in time, he bought himself a workbench, um, like a craftsman you had to put together and stuff. And he was asking Dale if at some point in time he had a minute here or there, you know, maybe he could pop over there and kind of help him put the thing together. Dale's like, okay, sure. He said, I can come over right now if you want. He's like, well, you don't have to come over right now. He's like, well, I can come over right now. I'm not doing anything. I've had the day off. I can come over. <laughs> I was like, okay, that sounds good to me. You can go over there and do that. And then I can actually record a video while you're gone. Hey, that's a plan. So instead of recording a video in the morning or the af early afternoon, like while he's at work, I'm like, okay, you go do that. I'll just record this video tonight. Yeah, I can do that. Sorry, I'm a little thirsty. So that worked, right? That worked. I mean, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that when he gets in the swing of things, being retired, he'll find more and more opportunities to do things just like that. Maybe not always hanging out with friends, but not, well, he's not really a friend. Well, he is a friend, but you know what I mean. He'll find things like that to do to occupy his time, things to work on, tinker around with. He really likes doing that kind of stuff. It's like, you know, we've been to my dad's. I've been once with him over the weekend, yeah, and then he went back again all for this truck lawnmower stuff to help him get that going. Um, so I can see him occupying his time doing stuff like that, right? That's fine. That's fine. Just fine. You find stuff to do as long as I have time to do what I need to do. It will all be good. I'll be good, right? You will work it out. We'll work it out. Maybe I'll be recording at different times. My schedule will be a little different. I mean, if I'm doing unboxings and stuff, I use the counter in the kitchen. And those I have to do at certain times based on Mother Nature and the sun, you know, because there's times when recording on my counter just doesn't work. It's too much sun or not enough sun or, you know, whatever. But I think we can work this out, you know? <laughs> We're going to have to work it out, aren't we? <laughs> but, you know, then, then he was gone, like, for, like, a while. And, I, I mean, I knew 
where he was and I don't really care, but it's like dinner time. And I'm thinking, is he going to be home anytime soon? Do I make something for dinner? Do I wait? What do, what do I do? What do I do? So I got done with my video and I got it um, processed and all that. Oh my gosh. It took forever. I don't know what the deal was to process on my computer. It took forever. It was the gnome video, the gnome stash video. It's just a little longer, like 30 some minutes, but it took forever. And I find I stopped it and I restarted it. And then it finally decided, okay, we'll process. Fine. Okay. But I'm getting hungry. Um, I've talked on the phone to a couple people. <laughs> just like, where's my husband at now? He's just, he's been gone for hours at this point, right? Oh, he did go see my dad that day too. That's the first thing he did. Yeah. He went to see my dad. He was gone just a little while to do that. Then he stopped back home. That's when he got the call to go help. Yeah. So he did like three things. Because then after he left my cousin's house, then he went to my daughter's house because they needed their furnace lit. They, they needed help with that. So he went over there. And that's when I finally called him. He was over there. And he's like, he says, the first thing he says to me on the phone is he's like, so what, was it too hard for you to make soup, a can of soup? And I'm like, what? He said, we were going to have soup for dinner, right? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Earlier in the day, we said we were going to go home and have soup for lunch, not for dinner. We didn't have soup for lunch. We had the leftover pizza for lunch. But he's like, he's like, I'm at your daughter's house. I'll be home in a few minutes. I'm like, okay, because the chickens and the ducks, you know, need to come in. I can do that. But it's raining and wet and it's muddy out there. and with my knee acting up, I don't think I can get in the coop and feed them. Well, I dealt with it anyhow. I just fed them. Instead of feeding them out in the pen where it's all muddy, I took food into the houses and just put food in their houses. I'm like, okay, I got it. I'm done. And then he showed up and guess what? We had soup. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is too weird, right? But, you know, he was gone a long time. I didn't know when he was coming back, which that's the one thing. It's like, I don't care that you're doing it. Really, I don't, but I would just like to know when to like expect you home. I'm used to knowing when he comes home, right? He gets out of work at four o'clock and he's home just a couple minutes after that because we live just a few miles away from his work. You know, I get used to what I expect and that's all. It's just, I, I got to have some time frames here, you know, <laughs> just my life i have to have some plan for my life it's not just willy-nilly here and there oh i'm hungry i'll eat do i eat with you without you do i make a meal for me do i wait for you when are you gonna be here just just stuff like that you know so I, i'm certain it will get better <laughs> with time <laughs> and we'll have a new routine because right now we have a routine everything is very routine right down to lunch you know like what we're having each day for lunch. I could tell you every day. Today's Tuesday. I don't have lunch in the refrigerator because he's going to lunch with the guys from work. It's Taco Tuesday. They go get tacos. So I'm on my own for lunch today. But every other day of the week, he's made lunch. Now, yesterday was a little different because he didn't go to work. So he didn't make our lunch. But I'm a routine kind of person. You know, I get used to doing the same things. Get used to a schedule. And even though I'm retired, I, I have like a schedule of when I do things, you know, without that like routine in my life, I think I just get too confused and flounder around. And I mean, you guys might, I know I hear all the time. I don't know how you get so many things done. You're working on all these things. And if it's projects I'm working on, I don't have a schedule. I'm not like, okay, I'm going to work on this diamond painting from 10 to 10.30, and then I'm going to go crochet. And It's not like that. <laughs> but, you know, I get up, I edit and upload a video. I record some videos. Well, I have lunch in there somewhere. Edit and upload videos. I have, like, a general schedule. Without that, I think I'd be lost. I, I know I would be lost. I can't just be like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do today when I get up. I have no idea. And Dale will ask me that when he's off work. He's like, so what are we doing today? I'm like, 
uh, I, I don't know. What do you have in mind? What do you have planned? <laughs> right? He'll ask me. What are we doing today? I, I don't know. I, I can tell you what I would be doing if you were at work. But I can't tell you what we're going to do since you're home. Wind, wind, wind again. Oh, my gosh. It has been so windy around here lately. And a lot of rain, too. It's been rainy and windy. At least it wasn't snowy like Angie got snow where she lives. She's not that far away from me, an hour and a half or so. And it was snowing where she lives. Other side of Michigan, you know. I'm like, you can have it over there. That's fine. We didn't get snow here. We're good. We are good. It's just kind of rainy, cold, windy, crappy. Yeah. But are you a schedule person? Do you have to have a schedule, a routine, uh, plans for your day? Or do you just like wake up and go, well, hmm, what should I do? What should I do? I, I can't do that. I, I know I can't do that. It's been too many years of my life have been more regimented, you know, regimented. And without that, I can't, I can't function. <laughs> I just end up probably sitting on the couch in front of the TV or something all day doing nothing. And that's not good. That's not productive. <laughs> I have to be productive. <laughs> uh, like today. I know I've got to unload the dishwasher because the dishes are clean in the dishwasher. Um, yesterday was folding clothes. The laundry was dry and clean and all that. And I had to fold the clothes. I have a book live at 630. See, I have things. I have things to do. I know I need to make a yarn video. That's on my agenda. Not that I write it down. I'm not a planner or anything like that. I have to do a membership video. I have... A pile of little goody things to make a video. I have these things that are in my head. Now, will I get them all done today? Probably not. Honestly, I probably won't. Because after I finish recording here, it will be time to edit and upload this. And then it's time for lunch. I can already tell my stomach's grumbling. Sorry if you can hear it. Um, <laughs> and then I'll find lunch, let the birds out. Then I'll probably edit and upload this video and have it ready for tomorrow. And then hopefully I can get one of those videos done this afternoon. Yarny video or get started on the membership video. You know, that kind of stuff. I, I got to gather prizes, go through the names, all that stuff. So, and the nice thing is, if I don't get to everything today, there's tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. You know, and that's fine. They don't all have to be done today. But it's like a list in my head of things to check off and get through, you know. So, and then let's throw in there, I do some retreat planning throughout the day, looking up stuff, looking for things, you know, things like that. That can take up, that can take up a lot of time, actually. And I start looking for stuff to purchase or ideas or things like that. That can take up some time. And then, of course, communicating with the rest of the team <laughs> you know that kind of stuff. But, yeah, I'm busy, 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 busy. So other than that, let's see. Is there anything else exciting that's happened? Anything exciting? I don't have a prize to give away today. Let's talk about the big, big, beautiful event. Um, I got to say that Yvonne, Yvonne has been working on the same painting. Yvonne has finished all the way up to the top here. And then like two more sections about this size at the bottom. So she's like, yeah, well, she's probably a lot further ahead now. She's like four or five sections ahead of me, but um, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. That's all I got. It's a lot. It's very pretty. There's a lot of blending of colors. Like, that's why I said, these are all bees here. These peck, 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 right? And then we got some more peck, peck, peck here. And then you get a bunch of solid. So they kind of, it's, it's a nice blend of the colors and stuff. Just a lot of them. A lot of them. And then you'll get to the point where I can, I can do a whole bunch at once. And then I'll be down to like, nope, no, I'm down to just. One, one here, one here, one there. 
peck, 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 peck. It's fun, but, you know, it's a big, huge canvas. Like up here, I could start doing just the ones. Like here's one here, you know, and here's one over here or two. <laughs> it's just now they're starting to blend together. So anyhow, some of the paintings are looking really, really pretty, gorgeous. Um, and some people are finishing stuff so quickly. I'm always blown away at how fast some people can diamond paint and get things done. It blows my mind, blows my mind. Um, so anyhow, posting on Instagram, one progress picture per week. That is what we're doing, one per week. Um, and the weeks start on Saturdays, all right? So you wake up on Saturday. Okay, I thought I had a spot for that many. Let's go over here. <laughs> wake up on Saturday, make a post. All right. Um, this week, Sue will be giving away a prize. She has put a little card in on Instagram, and that indicates where she's starting to look for her winner. From that card through Friday night, Midnight on Friday night, those are the people she's going to pick a winner from off of Instagram. We're still not quite sure who's live. She's going to announce it in. She's going out of town for the afternoon. I'm just going to say maybe it'll be Angie's um, that gives her more time to get home. Maybe she just pulls a winner before she leaves and can be in chat. I don't know. We don't know exactly what's happening. All right, Sue. Got to talk to Sue. <laughs> Got to get this. Got got to get this all figured out here. How this is gonna work? So, but she'll be picking the prize this week. It feels weird for me to not be telling you that I'm giving away a prize because I'm so used to doing this every other week thing that this would be my week to announce a winner, a prize, to, a sign up, I should say. But I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> so feel free to comment whatever you want on my video. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh goodness. So pay attention for that. That will be coming up. How we're going to um, tell you the prize winner for that and stuff. Oh, that's the other thing I got to do. I got to get with Diamond Art Club today. That's a must. I finally have all of my winners from the Chuck Along that get Diamond Art Club gift certificates. I finally have everybody's email so I can email them on my winners. That's a must today. I'll probably do that like right after I stop talking. <laughs> That'll be next, next on the agenda. So if you were a chuck along winner, just know I'm on it. I'm getting those gift cards. I'm going to send over those names today. I had to wait, though, until I had them all. All right? Can't just give her one or two. That gets too confusing. So I have to wait until I get all of them. So I'm ready. I'm ready. All righty. Um, next week, Angie will be giving away a prize. So she'll be giving away a prize in our whip and chat. So make sure you watch her whipping chats as well. And continue diamond painting and making beautiful, beautiful paintings, right? That's what we do. So without further ado, I guess I will let you go. I'm going to put some pictures at the end. Um, I hope you stay <clears throat> and watch the pictures, the little picture scroll I'm going to do. Um, they're pictures of this lighthouse couple more pictures of my mom, things like that. So I hope you stay and watch those. It's always fun. And thanks for watching all my videos that you watch. I appreciate it greatly. Um, get ready for Gnome Vember. You know, if you watch the Gnome Stash video, you know that I'm ready. I've got plenty of gnomes to work on. So I'm ready to do a couple gnomes. I'll put this aside for a while. Like I said, this is not going to get finished. I never planned on it be you know to be finished i have other things i'd like to work on so the gnomes is one of them november um november we will be working on some gnome stuff in and out periodically you know so i hope you have some gnomes angie and i are gonna give away prizes we're collecting prizes right now we got some cool things coming um i'll talk more about that later in like an announcement video for November. But 
yeah, find yourself a gnome, at least one, you know, and uh, join us. It'll be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So there's that. Um, Fridays, don't forget, Angie and I go live and we crochet together. We're trying to finish up our pillow. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> I am almost to the point where I have almost all of my pieces, almost, that I need, that we've done so far, I should say. Not the new pieces that we're making, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Pillow is going to be so pretty. And we're already talking about our next crochet along and what we're going to do. And we're looking for yarn for it. And we're both getting a little... A little frustrated trying to find the perfect yarn we're looking for. But we have not given up yet. We've not given up yet. We're trying to avoid spending like $200 on yarn to get it from Africa. Mm -hmm. There's a kit. And we don't want to spend 200 bucks. But Angie's like, if I can't figure this out really soon, she says, I'm just going to buy that kit from Africa. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not. I, I'm not buying it. I refuse to buy the kit from Africa. It's not that the yarn is so expensive. It's that the shipping is $80 to ship it from Africa. Um, no. That, in my mind, is just a waste of money just to get some yarn. I can't do it. I can't do it. So I'm refusing. I'm going to find something. I've placed two orders that have some possible yarns that might work, but I just want to see them, touch them, feel them, you know. See how I think they're going to do before I jump in. Okay, I had a place for two. Seriously. Now it's now it's lost. I can't find it. <laughs> um, test them out before I, you know, buy them. I want to touch them. Feel them. See if I like them. See if they're soft. I don't want to use some scratchy yarn. So, yeah, working on that. Hopefully those will start coming in here soon. I know one I think is supposed to be here today, I believe. So I get to test out one today. Yay. Um, and the other one might be a little while yet, like a week maybe or so. That one's coming from, it's from Hobby. It's Holland or something maybe. I don't know. Got some traveling to do to get here. That's all I know. It'll be, it'll be a minute. <laughs> Hopefully not too long though. All right. I've rambled. I've gone from one topic to another topic to another topic. I think I'm done. I, I was going to say goodbye a minute ago, but then I thought, well, let me talk about the crochet live. Oh, let me talk about the book lives on Tuesdays, 6.30. We're doing Nicholas Sparks. If you're interested, come join along. We have a good time there. All right, now I'm done. Okay, thanks for listening to my meanderings, people. Yep, I meandered all over the place. So. Have a great day, and I need to find a spot to put this many drills. Where can they go? Right there. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day, everybody, and um, watch for those announcements for the prize giveaways. All right, have a great day. Bye, everybody.